Welcome to our channel, Sheep and Goat Insights. Today, we're exploring goat and sheep health. Though resilient, these animals are susceptible to illnesses like enterotoxemia, also known as overeating disease, which can harm your flock. In this video, we'll guide you through 20 common diseases affecting goats and sheep. Recognizing early signs can help you protect your livestock. Whether you're experienced or new to farming, join us as we equip you with the knowledge to safeguard your herd. Let's begin! First, we will start with the common bacterial diseases. Number one, anthrax. Anthrax is a bacterial infection that affects both goats and sheep. The disease can be transmitted to humans and other animals. Anthrax is caused by Bacillus anthracis and its spores can survive in the environment for years. Number two, brucellosis. Brucellosis, a bacterial infection, can affect goats, sheep, cows, and wild ruminants, posing a risk to humans. Symptoms include abortion, stillbirths, and reduced milk production. Preventive measures like vaccination and hygiene are crucial to reduce transmission. Number three, caseous lymphadenitis, CLA. Caseous lymphadenitis, CLA, or cheesy gland, is a chronic bacterial infection in goats and sheep caused by Corynebacterium pseudotuberculosis. It leads to abscesses mainly in lymph nodes, but can affect other organs. Number four, Contagious Caprina Pleuropneumonia, CCPP. Contagious Caprina Pleuropneumonia, CCPP, is a severe respiratory disease in goats caused by Mycoplasma capriculum subspecies Capripneumoniae. Symptoms include high fever, labored breathing, nasal discharge, and coughing. It spreads rapidly within herds through direct contact or contaminated areas. Number five is dermatophilosis. Dermatophilosis, known as rain scald or lumpy wool, is a bacterial skin infection in goats and sheep caused by Dermatophilus congolensis. It thrives in warm, humid climates, causing crusty scabs on the skin resembling thickened wool. Spread occurs through contact with infected animals or environments. Emphasizing the importance of regular grooming and hygiene. Number six, mastitis. Mastitis is a bacterial infection in goats and sheep, causing utter inflammation. Various bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus species can cause it. This infection affects milk production and quality, resulting in economic losses for dairy farmers. Symptoms include swollen, red, and painful udders, abnormal milk consistency or color, and fever. Number seven, foot rot. Foot rot is a bacterial disease in goats and sheep causing lameness. Fusobacterium necroforum and Dicolobacter nodosus cause it, thriving in warm, moist environments. It leads to economic losses due to reduced production and treatment costs. Prevention methods include maintaining dry, clean conditions, regular hoof trimming. Now move on to common fungal diseases. Number eight, candidiasis. Candidiasis or thrush is a fungal infection in goats and sheep caused by Candida albicans. Symptoms include white patches in the mouth and on the tongue, making eating difficult. It can also lead to mastitis in dairy goats. Number nine, cryptococcosis. Cryptococcosis is a fungal disease in goats and sheep caused by Cryptococcus neoformans. It's found in soil contaminated with pigeon droppings, prevalent where pigeons roost. It affects the respiratory tract and central nervous system, causing breathing difficulties, coughing, nasal discharge, head tilt, circling behavior, and depression. Number 10 is ringworm. Ringworm, or dermatophytosis, is a fungal skin infection in goats and sheep caused by fungi like trichophyton and microsporum species. Symptoms include circular areas of hair loss with crusty or scaly skin. It spreads through direct contact with infected animals or contaminated objects like brushes and fences, posing a risk to humans too. Number 11, aspergillosis. Aspergillosis, this respiratory infection caused by the fungus aspergillus can lead to pneumonia or other systemic infections. Aspergillosis often affects animals with weakened immune systems and can be found in soil, feed, or bedding. Treatment becomes challenging once the disease progresses. Let's talk about common parasitic diseases. Number 12, endoparasites. Endoparasites, internal parasites affecting goats and sheep, include roundworms, tapeworms, and flukes. They can cause weight loss, anemia, diarrhea, and death in severe cases. Haemonchus contortus, barber pole worm, and Fasciola hepatica, liver fluke, are common endoparasites in small ruminants, leading to decreased productivity and economic losses for farmers. Number 13, ectoparasites. 
Ectoparasites like lice and mites can cause significant irritation and discomfort to goats and sheep, impacting their well-being and productivity. Infestations can also result in wool or hair loss, making them more vulnerable to environmental stresses, metabolic and nutritional diseases. Metabolic and nutritional diseases in goats and sheep can have serious health consequences. Pregnancy toxemia or ketosis can occur during late gestation when energy demand exceeds intake. Number 14. Pregnancy toxemia ketosis. Pregnancy toxemia or ketosis is a metabolic disorder affecting pregnant ewes and does due to an imbalance in energy intake and demand. It typically occurs during late gestation when the growing fetus increases the animal's energy requirement. Number 15, pink eye. Pink eye, or infectious keratoconjunctivitis, is a common, highly contagious eye infection in goats and sheep caused by bacteria like Moraxella ovis, leading to corneal and conjunctival inflammation. Number 16, listeriosis. Listeriosis is a bacterial infection in goats and sheep caused by Listeria monocytogenes. Symptoms include lethargy, loss of appetite, fever, and neurological issues. The bacteria thrives in silage and spoiled feed, posing a risk when consumed. Number 17, moving on from Listeriosis mycoplasmosis. Mycoplasmosis is another concern for goat and sheep farmers. It's a contagious disease caused by mycoplasma bacteria affecting both goats and sheep primarily impacting the respiratory system, it can also cause joint inflammation and other infections in goats or sheep. Number 18, polioencephalomalacia. Polioencephalomalacia, also called cerebrocortical necrosis, is a neurological disorder in goats and sheep caused by thiamine deficiency, often from consuming moldy feed or high sulfur diets. Symptoms include disorientation, blindness, and head pressing. Number 19, enterotoxemia. Enterotoxemia, also called pulpy kidney or overeating disease, is more common in sheep than goats. This life-threatening bacterial infection, type D, is characterized by sudden death. Caused by Clostridium perfringens type D, it often follows a switch to a high-energy diet or increased grain consumption. Number 20, contagious ecthema. Contagious ecthema, or ORF, is a viral skin disease in goats and sheep caused by the ORF virus. It leads to pustular lesions on the lips, oral cavity, and udder, causing discomfort and loss of appetite in animals. Furthermore, ORF virus infections in humans can occur through contact with infected animals or contaminated surfaces. As we conclude our exploration of common diseases in goats and sheep, remember that early detection and preventive measures are key to maintaining the health of your flock. By staying informed and proactive, you can minimize the impact of these diseases and ensure the well-being of your livestock. If you're looking for more in-depth knowledge on how to protect your goats and sheep from these diseases, be sure to check out our blog post. We've compiled extensive information, practical tips, and additional resources to empower you in safeguarding your livestock's health. Click the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable insights into animal care. Until next time, take care and happy farming.